It's estimated that worldwide 350 million people are affected by genetic disorders caused by faulty DNA. These genetic defects can lead to a variety of conditions like cystic fibrosis, which leads to chronic and often fatal lung infections. And at the moment, there's still no cure. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Healy in the UK to see how groundbreaking developments in gene therapy could one day transform the lives of people living with genetic disorders. Debbie, hello, I'm Elizabeth. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mary Bondono is 16 years old and was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at the age of one. Mary, can you tell me from your perspective, what is your day like living with cystic fibrosis? Every morning I have to get up and take my nebulizers, puffers, and then I have to do my laxative, yeah. And then I have to do another nebulizer, saline. And then I have to do my physio. I do spiral ball, AD, and then I normally go out on the trampoline to help it move. Okay. And then after that, I have to do another nebulizer. And then I have to do more puffers. And then, yeah, that normally takes all together about an hour. So an hour in the morning and an hour at night. Yep. When Mary was first diagnosed, doctors thought she would only live until the age of four. I do feel like there's days when I really don't want to do it. Yeah. I know I have to, and I know if I don't take the medication, then I will get ill. Mm. There's never a day goes by then I don't really forget about it. I can't forget about it, because I know it's always there. Mm. Mary, do you meet other children that have cystic fibrosis? No, I can't, because otherwise, if I meet one of them, they're going to pass a germ to me, or I'm going to pass a germ to them. So, no, so it must be quite an isolating condition to have. Yeah, yeah, because I was in hospital and there was another CF patient and they were right up the other end of the hospital and we used to send little letters to each other because we couldn't meet face to face, obviously. And that yeah. was nice. At the moment, Mary's not really understanding everything about CF. She, she does now know that it is life-shortening and she does know that it cannot be cured. But things could be about to change. Scientists have proven for the first time ever that an experimental technique called gene therapy can improve the health of those with cystic fibrosis. I've come into central London to meet the doctors and the clinicians involved in the gene therapy trial into cystic fibrosis. Hello, Jane. Good morning, nice Elizabeth. to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Would you like to I would. Thank you very much. Cystic fibrosis is, as you know, a genetically inherited disease. Um, parents who pass those copies onto their child, then they have cystic fibrosis. During the first year of life, most babies will experience some lung problems, and those relate to the buildup of sticky mucus within the airways, and that sticky mucus attracts bacterial infections, and the bacterial infections become chronic, and they eventually cause quite significant lung scarring. In the UK, there are around 10,000 people with cystic fibrosis at the moment uh, on our registry. About one in 22 of us is a carrier of the mutated gene, most of us won't realise and about one in 2,000 babies are born with cystic fibrosis. The genetic nature of this and other conditions mean that treatment has focused on managing the symptoms as best as possible. But a new and experimental technique called gene therapy has sought to replace the faulty gene with a functioning one. This is the largest and the longest duration gene therapy trial using a lipid formulation for cystic fibrosis that has ever happened in the world. So 116 patients um, completed the protocol and took at least nine nebulized doses over the course of that year. And it was in that group, which was defined as being the group we were going to look at, that we saw a significant impact on lung function at the end of the year. We can't thank the patients and their families enough because without patients like Mary and her mother, we just couldn't have completed this trial. So we're really grateful. These results would not have been possible without the perseverance of scientists who have spent years developing gene therapy. When we started this program, we thought it would be very easy for patients to just inhale the gene 
breathe it in and it will get to the right area, into the right cells in the lung. It turned out that it was much more difficult. So how are you getting this healthy new gene into the area of the lung to do the job of the faulty gene? Well, for the trial that has just finished, we're actually using a very simple molecule. It's a fat, a lipid. What we did is we used the gene and we mixed it with this fat particle. This formed a small complex. That complex is then inhaled into the lungs of cystic fibrosis patients. The dose of gene therapy that the trial participants received does not permanently correct the faulty cystic fibrosis DNA. But scientists are working on finding a longer lasting solution. Clinical trial results have been very encouraging, but they're not quite good enough to turn them into a treatment yet. So we have plans for another trial where we give more of the liposome gene complexes and uh, more frequently, basically. In addition to that, we have developed a virus that is very, very efficient in getting genes into the lungs. Do you think using a virus might be more efficient than using the, the, the fatty particle you're using at the moment? We certainly think so. Based on all the evidence we have, the virus is at least a hundredfold more effective. That's exciting. Very exciting, yes. Yeah. These success stories represent a huge step forward for people like Mary. Did you notice any changes during the, the course of the treatment? I feel like I had a lot more energy. That I didn't need my wheelchair anymore. OK. And um, my concentration was a lot better. My grades were going up. I was getting a lot more work done. And how did that make you feel when you were suddenly achieving more? I felt me, that made me feel really good about myself, that I, could, I, that I could do it and that I know I can do it. The hope is that one day, gene therapy will be approved for use and widely available to those with cystic fibrosis. Yeah, all those people that are studying and working to get this drug to work even better than it did, let's just hope and pray they can get it done and they can get the funding. And if it doesn't come soon enough for Mary, she's helped other people. If it's not here for her, it'll be here for the next generation of children born with cystic fibrosis. If somebody said to you tomorrow, we're going to do it again, what would you say? I would say I'll go on it. I'll go on it next week if it helps. Yeah. Because that really was the best year of my life. So I'll win that back again. Well, fingers crossed, eh? Yeah.